Hi, my name is Eric Muller of the Exploratorium Teacher Institute, and I'm going to show you how to figure out acceleration due to gravity by using a light, a digital video camera, a computer, and a meter stick. So a meter stick, I actually taped mine to the wall, but you can actually have someone hold this there for you too. So not only did I tape it, but I actually put markings every 10 centimeters to help you when you actually need to collect the data off the distances. You can drop any object you want, here's an eraser, and figure out the acceleration to gravity based on that. But, just to let you know, it's a lot easier to reference the light as it drops when you do this. So I'm going to set this light up at the zero centimeter mark and I'm just going to let it go and that's it. After we're done, we're going to go step by step through every single frame to determine acceleration due to gravity. Yeah. Ready? So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our camera that has the data and we're going to plug it into the computer and we're going to go frame by frame and figure out the time and the distance increments and do our calculations. So, once you inserted your camera, you'll see the hard drive on your desktop. You can open it up and find the video that has your drop in it. Once you do that, you can play it. And you can use on many video players the arrow key to get to the exact right spot of right when you drop it. So there we are right there. So now that we have it at the right spot, what you do is you just go frame by frame or arrow key push down once for every single frame to go from one frame um, or one time segment to the next. Most high quality videos these days, especially high definitions, are about 30 frames a second or 0 .033 seconds per frame. That's how long they last, or the interval between one frame to the next. So over here, we're at the top of the drop, or zero centimeters, or zero meters. So we should use this in meters. As you click your arrow key to go from frame to frame, that dropped about a half a centimeter, or 0 .005 meters. You should write the data down in a table with the time and the distance. The next one is a drop of about two centimeters, or 0 0.02 meters. The next one is about 4 centimeters down or 0 0.04 meters and you could do this as you go down. Well, you're always taking the data at the top of the light as it goes down. So I collect the data and put it in a spreadsheet. You could just do it on a piece of paper. So over here, I have various columns that I'm labeling. The steps over here are just the presses of the arrow key to go from one frame to the next. So this is when it started at the very top of the meter stick, and I pressed it up to 10 times. So this is the 10th press. And over here, this is the conversion of the steps into seconds, because each frame is 1 30th of a second, or 0 0.033 seconds per frame. So obviously, the first step is at zero seconds, which is also a zero distance. Second step is at 0 0.033, and every one is a multiple of the steps going down. So after 10 frames, it is 0.33, or about a third of a second long. So it's not very long to get all this data. The next column is the distance in meters. Even though meter sticks are separated into centimeters, um, I decided, and actually in science you do this, you do it in meters. Um, so these are the distances going down, but I don't have my tenth step yet. So I'm going to get this right now. I'm going to go back to my video. I'm going to do one more step. That one is at about 51 centimeters. I'm going to enter that into my spreadsheet. So 51 centimeters is 0.51 meters. So one of the great things about this data is that you can um, plot it, especially on a spreadsheet. So I'm just going to take this data, scatter plot it. One axis is going to be the time, and the other axis is the distance. And you can see that it follows this great parabolic path.
time versus distance. And it follows this equation right here, one of the kinematic equations for motion. So what we really want to find out with all this data is acceleration due to gravity. This is our kinematic formula for it. Acceleration equals velocity final minus velocity initial over the total time it takes to make that change. So vi, or velocity initial, is simple equation, distance over time. And this thing was stopped at the beginning. That is our initial velocity. So since the distance was zero and the time was zero, the velocity was zero. Our velocity final, though, was how fast it was traveling at the end. And that one is also distance divided by time. But over here, at the end, at the very end, it was traveling between this part and we're only going to do the, the, the um, velocity from here to here. So from here to here, it was traveling 11 centimeters or 0.11 meters. And it took, between here and there, it took about a 30th of a second, so 0 0.033 seconds. So that means the velocity in that area, if you divide this out, comes out to be 3.33 meters per second. So now for equation over here, it's basically 3.33 meters per second divided by the total amount of time it took to make this change to go from zero to this speed. And it took the total amount of time is a third of a second. That's 10 frame steps to do that. So that is now divided by 0.33, or a third of a second, and that equals a velocity of this divided by that, which is about 10 meters per second. But there's two seconds in there, or two second units squared. So that means acceleration to gravity is around 10 meters per second. In actuality, if you measure this with even more sophisticated equipment, it turns out that, velocity, that acceleration due to gravity is actually about 9.8 meters per second squared. Pretty close. And that's how you do it, using a video camera, a computer, a meter stick, and a light to drop.